Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is GL Rustic Design. Today's video is going to be a life-size Barbie box. So you can see in the CNC drawing, um, I used my chop saber to design and cut out the whole thing. You know, being three pieces, you have the back, the two sides, the circle, and then the names in the front, top and bottom is all your pieces. Um, so I put a little swoop on the box, the back of the box, so that it kind of helped it, um, you know, stand, stand up and not tip over to one side. Well, I have a second. Please like and subscribe. The, like, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Um, really, really trying to get my my subscribers up to keep making content. Um, but here you can see me cutting out the name, um, just the Barbie name. This is just a little a snip of the machine. Then I come back and use a handheld Dremel with um, sandpaper uh, to really get all the edges, um, you know, nice and clean. This is by far the most time-consuming part of the whole video. Then I came back and used just some uh, some primer and white spray paint. You know, I'll use three to four coats of this. Um, you know, let it let, letting it dry probably 10-15 minutes in between each coat. Um, and then <clears throat> once my CNC machine is done, um, you know, I get every, all the sides sanded down. And I come back and I start assembly. So my first step was to uh, get the face and then each side use trim nails um, along with some one inch screws. As you can see here, um, you know, use the use glue, then trim nails, and then I come back um, and use some wood filler to um, slightly touch up um, all the holes, sand all that down so in the end you don't see any any holes from, from the nails uh, once it's painted. I originally wanted to use pocket holes for this, but the I, I used half inch birch, and it just wasn't it wasn't thick enough to, to get a pocket hole in there. So uh, once you get the front done, you can flip over to this to the the you know the, the top and the bottoms. Same philosophy: trim nails, glue. I put two screws in each in each side, um, and then you can make your way to the back. And so this box ended up being uh, seventy two inches tall and 36 inches wide and it was about I think the box itself was like 24 inches deep um and then with the with the little tail part it ended up being right at 36 if i had to do it again i probably would make it maybe 30 inches deep um i might i'd, I'd probably trim down the inside by about four inches and then um make the tail a little shorter just just really trying to get it through doors it was it was not fun trying to get it in our door last night um so but so yeah so the back is the same way um you can use the same method uh you could just use glue trim nails however uh, you know it really helps this thing um not not sway as much um, by doing it this way but i use the top bar top bar and glue around the whole thing um trim nails um i think they were like 16 gauge 18 gauge i don't remember which one it was um and then the one inch torque head screws um in the sides and that's pretty much pretty much the whole box build itself then i came back and i have a commercial paint sprayer i think this end up was it was a it was a Val, Valspar satin. Uh, I think it was called Frosted Berry. There's not very many. If you ever look for um, hot pink paints, there's not very many out there. So um, yeah, so I painted this whole thing. You know, this whole build it took, it took me less than an hour. Um, by the time I you know cut it out, put it together, you know whatnot, and so got it in the house all in the same day. Pretty successful build. But yeah, so you know, painted the whole thing twice. I put one coat on there, probably let it dry for um, probably at least thirty minutes to an hour, somewhere in that range. Let it let the first coat dry, um, and then came back and done a second coat because, uh, like, I said, we bought a gallon of paint, so might as well might as well use the majority of. I think I ended up using about half half a gallon, so. Um, you know, like I said, came back, painted it twice, 
um, you know, turned out really, really good. Um, yeah, and then from there, uh, I took the white letters and stuck it on the front, used the top bond glue, you know, laid, laid this on his back, um, you know, put the Mattel and the Barbie, glued them on there, pressed them in, um, let that dry for an hour, two hours or so, and then we moved it in the house, and it was for our daughter's birthday, so but thank you again for all who watched the videos. Thank you.